Hey, what's up guys? I'm finally back from my little vacation and I can finally review this Hot Toys Neo from The Matrix. Uh, I'm going to forego looking at the box since I did that unboxing. Uh, it seems kind of repetitive to do it again. So we're going to jump straight to the figure uh, starting with his accessories. But here's a really quick look at a simple pose that you can do with this figure. Obviously from the get-go you can see that he's uh, he's pretty nimble. He can articulate in a lot of ways. So right off the bat, that's a good thing. But uh, let's take a look at those accessories real quick here. So if I were to guess, I'd say that Neo is a big fan of guns because uh, we've got a couple of them here. But I guess he did need all these guns when he was blasting away a bunch of innocent security guards, right? They were innocent. I mean, they weren't agents. Weren't they just dudes living in the Matrix? Batteries and that type of thing. I, anyway, I feel like I remember thinking that as a kid, but let's move on. Uh, I'm not a gun connoisseur, so forgive me or don't judge me too, too harshly if I don't know all my guns. But we've got an assault rifle. We've got duo assault rifles, actually. We've got duo everything. So I'm just going to run through each one individually. It's plastic, but it's nicely detailed. Each of these assault rifles comes with a strap. So that's really nice. Uh, let's see, we got machine gun. Also nicely detailed. You can see uh, you can see the bolts right there in the magazine. That's really nice. Looks really good. We got uh, some more machine guns. I really like this one a lot. This one, uh, I mean, I guess it, it just comes with the the styling of the gun, but it feels like there's a lot going on here, like a lot, a lot of sculpted detail. So I'm a big fan of this one right here. And it does come with these little, almost carabiner hooks right here. I said in my unboxing video that this was a strap for the uh, duffel bag there, but I quickly realized that I was wrong. But I wasn't about to redo the video. These are actually to hold and clip these two guns right here. So you can clip them both and then they're attached. So you got the strap, got a couple Uzis. These are cute, right? Little nice little guns right here. Looks good. Let's see if I can focus that a little bit better. There you go. Yeah. I do like that it looks like uh, it's a little bit worn. You know, it's not just straight black paint job. It's uh, It's got a little bit of this brush to it. You know, it, looks, it makes it look a little bit more steel-like or metal-like. Then you've got his quintessential pistols. This looks really nice. Um, these are obviously just the size of a pistol. They're pretty small, but still a lot of good detail sculpted in there. Um, so that looks excellent. Moving on to the hands. We've got a couple uh, action hands. Hands always look pretty good on Hot Toys. Every, every once in a while I see an exemplary hand, but you know, for the most part, they're just really well done. So these are really well done. Uh, got two fists right there. Got a couple relaxed hands. And then uh, on Neo himself are his, his gun Whoops, what was that? That was his gun holding hands, so we'll see that later. But there you go. Not too many hands, but that's fine. And then you've got his duffel bag that he carries all his weaponry in, or his, the bomb, right? Yeah, it was a bomb. Sorry. Pretty sure it was a bomb. Um, you can zip it or unzip it, and there's some foam in there. So I suppose if you want to put guns in there, you can. There's no um, bomb in there, so it's, it's nice and soft. But that's cool. You can recreate the scene where he's walking in with this. And then, of course, you can't have Neo without his uh, his glasses here. Oh, I guess there you go. These look really nice. Uh, these look highly accurate to the movie. Um, I think maybe in the movie they're tilted in a little bit more, but that's all right. Not a big deal. Um, so that looks really good. All right. And then last, and possibly least, just for me, uh, we have the base. I mean, you know, I'll take that back. Not least. It's a nice base. Says the Matrix Neo right there. It's got the flooring from that building scene where they're trying to rescue Morpheus. Uh, it's got a cradle so you can do some dynamic poses, you know, because it's Neo and he does all sorts of crazy Matrix type maneuvers. Uh, it looks good. I just, you know... I don't like these big bases. Look at the size of that thing. This is a laptop table, and it's uh, it's almost the size of a the laptop table. So it's way too big. Uh, but yeah, it's a good base. I'm just never going to use it. So let's move on.
Back to Neo himself. All right, so let's go. Let's run through them really quick. We've got uh, we've got holsters right here along the side for all his mini guns. The holsters can come off, and then on the inside there we've got these shoulder holsters. Um, I like that a lot. I like having the guns on the inside there, so that's very cool. Uh, if we want to take him off not take him off if we want to take off his jacket so we can take off other stuff just bend his arms back let's see if I can do this without breaking him peel his coat off all right there we go I'm gonna tear something I know it oh look at that I'm already making a mess someone's knocking on my door God, what a day I'm gonna ignore that just for you guys took off his hand ah come on all right I'm just gonna take off his hands there you go. So, we've got his, uh, his holsters right here is on the shoulder. And then we've got, again, the holsters around the belt. So it's cool because he can come with a couple different looks, right? He's got the look when he doesn't have his jacket, uh, when he's fighting Agent, um, Agent Smith on the, in the subway. He doesn't have any of this stuff. So you can take that off and recreate that, especially since supposedly they're going to maybe make an Agent Smith. Um, and then you've got this look, of course, without his trench coat, but I like him with his trench coat. So let's, uh, let's put that back on and take a look at it. All right. So as you saw from my fumbling around, I would highly suggest that you remove the hands before you remove the trench coat as does hot toys. If you read the booklet first, so, uh, don't be like me. Don't be an idiot and uh, take off his hands first. Anyway, let's look at Neo with the trench coat. So I had said in my unboxing that I wasn't uh, particularly a big fan of this trench coat, and I wasn't exactly sure if my reasoning was founded. Now, looking at this thing, it's it's fine. Let's, let's be real, it's all right. It just doesn't have the most detail to it. I mean, it's essentially just, you know, it's just cloth, nothing fancy, but it's not bad. So again, especially from back here, you know, you're not going to look at this and be like, damn, that trench coat sucks. It doesn't. It's all right. Uh, what I do like about it is that it is semi wired, which makes sense, right? That's a really good call from Hot Toys because Neo does all these crazy poses and you would hope that his trench coat would uh, be, be posable as well. Uh, it's not heavily wired though. And that's good and bad from my perspective. It's good because you, you know, I still like a trench coat that falls a little bit naturally, but it's bad because I wanted to do some of those poses where, you know, maybe his trench coat way, goes way back like that. Like when he's, let's see if I can get his hands a little bit. Let's, this isn't, this isn't perfect at all, but let's say he's shooting his pistols out, right? And then you want his trench coat out like that. Nah, won't do it. All right, it doesn't it doesn't have a wire strong enough to it. So yeah, right, that'd be cool if he could go. Whoa. But nope, can't do it. What he can do is sort of bend and shape in a couple ways, like that. There you go, a little something something. And then if I, I'm sure if I flip him over, well, yeah, gravity is going to do do its job a little bit more. But yeah, see, it can kind of stick a little bit if I shake it it'll probably go down so the wiring has some strength to it apologize for the focus i'm kind of moving around a lot um and it's and it's uh, it's it's usable it's good enough for your everyday posing um but nothing fancy at all nothing uh to really rave about so that's fine the boots, on the other hand, I would say are really quite nice. Uh, because he's so poseable, uh, I was wondering if the boots were going to be that sort of one solid piece, which prevents him from being able to uh, pivot his ankles. But no, look at that. The boots are essentially just really, really uh, thin. Oh, man, I can't get my focus at all. Really, really thin leather type material. So. There's no problem. Now, I wouldn't want to leave him like that for too long because as you can see, it would bunch and would probably crack and tear it eventually. But um, I'm glad that they uh, made it this way, um, just again, for all the posing options. And that said, it's also very well detailed. Um, it's got these nice buckles. Buckles look good. Uh, I don't know what that is right there, but the front of it, 
looks pretty excellent. Yeah, that's accurate as well. I watched the movie. I know that. Um, so good job. Good job on the boots, Hot Toys. The rest of the clothing is pretty straightforward. Um, I mean, the shirt almost feels like a polyester, um, almost dry fit type shirt. So it feels like you, you can stretch this out and it would be safe. It would revert back to a, its original shape. Pants are almost like, it's almost like a polyester as well. I think it is uh, pretty close to polyester if it's not. Uh, but it's straightforward, but you know, it looks militaristic, so that's good. Looks like Neo's pants. Um, that's about it. Nothing more to really talk about there, right? Anything else? Oh. Now, how about this Keanu Reeves head sculpt? Uh, sadly, I'm going to say it doesn't really look like Neo. Now, I'd say there are some strong, strong indications that it's Neo, right? Like when I saw this figure for the first time, there was no question that it was Neo. Now put this head on another body entirely, and I don't know if I'll, I'd be able to tell that it's Keanu Reeves, right? Like it's it's the whole package that tells me it's him. But again, there are, you can definitely see Keanu in there, but I don't say I wouldn't say it's it's him. I would say this is a fantastic Neo cosplayer right here. Keanu's face is a little bit longer, so I don't know why I turned it away. A little bit longer, a little bit. Thinner. I mean, he's pretty thin, but it's, he's a little bit more, got an elongated head and face a little bit. And then this guy, I think his head stretches out a little too far. Keanu's face is a little bit squished in, just a little bit more. So this is like, you know, I don't know. It's got elements of Keanu Reeves for sure. And you could argue that this is a really young Keanu Reeves, maybe. But uh, as far as Neo goes, I don't think they really got this head sculpt totally right. Uh, if anything, I'd say 70% there. Um, just my opinion. But let's throw the glasses on there and see if he improves. Come on, buddy. God damn it. So they got these glasses on. There's a little groove right there. And then the glasses slide right into that groove. There you go. Uh, very, very good design right there. It's it's actually super easy if you're not trying to do it through a camera. Um, let's see though. Whoa. That looks better to me. The, the glasses look is pretty iconic with Neo, so um, that's a much better representation of him, I'd say. But still not totally accurate, right? It's not completely Keanu Reeves. But yeah, it's not bad. It's passable. All right, so let's try to get some of his guns situated. There's a couple ways you could do this, but I'm gonna try to do it the movie way. Uh, Neo stuffs his pistols down his pants, uh, like so. All right, well, good enough for one. So his pants are getting awfully tight now. All right, there's a Velcro here. I'm gonna try to loosen this Velcro. Might give me some space. All right, come on, bud, get down there. Not bad. I might have to play with that. Alright. Let's fix up his belt a little bit. Boom. And then the machine guns, which I have attached with the uh, strap here. Let's take this off. This will just wrap around the back of him. Like so. Tuck that in. And then, let me clean this up a little bit. Right, I'm fairly sure that's correct, like so. Um, let me point that in a little bit more. I even tried to see if maybe the uh, Uzis could fit inside the harness here, but uh, unfortunately they can't really. This is still meant for the pistols. So you can maybe stuff it in there a little bit. Um, get something like that, but eh, that's not going to look that great. So. Let's take that out, probably put it in his hand, maybe. So there you go, a look at the Hot Toys Neo figure from the Matrix. Uh, it's a good one, it's not a fantastic one. If you're a Matrix fan, I think you'll be pleased with this. It's a really solid representation of Neo. 
but they could he could use some improvements um, in certain areas, particularly in the head sculpt. Maybe the trench coat. I haven't fully decided. Uh, it's, it just doesn't really do much for me. Maybe even some weathering would be cool. I don't know. Uh, but it comes with a lot of accessories. He's very articulated. Uh, so overall, a very good Hot Toys figure. Uh, just not the best, but I'm happy to have him. Uh, the Matrix was one of my top movies when I when I was a kid, and it still holds a very special place in my heart. So uh, I'm very happy to have this one. I hope they come up with Trinity and Morpheus, and uh, no regrets. No regrets getting this figure. Um, he just might not be you know my top tier figure ever. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for your patience as well, if anyone was waiting for this. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.